The Galapagos Islands are home to many endemic species, meaning species you won't find anywhere else on the planet. So they're an important resource to conservationists. Charles Darwin's research there contributed to his theory of evolution by means of natural selection. This is how important these islands are. One of them is named Seymour Norte. It's home to the swallow-tailed gull, which is the only nocturnal gull on Earth. It's also home to one of the largest populations of the nesting blue-footed boobies and magnificent frigate birds. So it has its significance to scientists who want to study natural habitats that are free of human interference. Which might make you wonder, why are conservationists now flying drones over it and dropping poison bombs? Which they are. And the answer is rats. Somehow, a rat managed to swim over from a neighboring island or a shipwreck or something of the sort and multiply. Maybe a rat couple swam over together. Maybe a pregnant rat made the trip alone. Maybe God dropped one off while we weren't looking. Who knows? There's no way of telling how rats suddenly appeared on Seymour Norte, but they did. And being rats, they multiplied like crazy to the point where they started to become a threat to the island's endemic species and scientists work studying them. Rats eat the eggs and hatchlings of the birds. They eat iguanas. They eat insects that are major pollinators of the island. And since the wildlife on the island has never dealt with rats before, they're not scared of them. A rat comes up to them and they're like, huh? And the rat can make easy work of killing and eating them. And when the bird population dwindles, so does their poop, which actually provides a nutrient that the surrounding coral reefs rely on. So you get the picture. Somehow, a rat came over to this island, and now rats have completely taken over and are decimating this important scientific resource. So their answer is to drop poison all over the island to kill the rats, and they're using drones to do it because they can be so precise. What seems less precise is the scientists' plan for making sure the island's endemic species don't start eating the poison or get it in their bloodstream in some other way. According to Wired, though, the poison pellets are blue, which doesn't seem to attract the birds of the island. So the plan is to kill off all these rats and then get back to studying these species in their natural habitat that is supposedly free of human interference. Except, of course, for those poison-dropping drones, which are clearly the work of Mother Nature.